Okay, guys, now in the next case, we want to run up our projects. We just created actually five of them, right? In our full profile stack here in the V2 folder, what do we have? We have the four websites we generated plus the Moji samples. Quick note, if you see the Moji-CSPPC.PFL, go ahead and delete it because we don't attach that anyway. Those keywords aren't useful for anything. And when you use the Moji sample site, please only upload a max of a thousand pages and that's it. It's really just for testing purposes and for you to get your hands into it. And that way, even if you don't have your own website, use ours. Upload a thousand pages onto our website, the Moji sample site, uh, just so that you can see how it works. And then when you go creating your own websites, that's the real gain there uh, because then your websites are just your stuff not also a hundred other people's uh, and so all your projects are all wrapped around what you want and that's better better for indexing too because when you got a hundred people and uh, two or three of them are uploading like 20 or 40 thousand web pages a day Google's indexing really 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 slows down on that site because <laughs> it's just over and over again hammering with new new pages by the tens of thousands every day uh, you're bound to you know, see Google indexing slow down. Not surprising. So anyway, it's there for you to get your hands wet, but it's not going to do a lot of good for you. Get at least some backlinks up, you know, generate different. If you're going to do 10 projects, do 100 pages of each, something like that. And that's cool uh, on the Moji sample site. If you want to put up a new project, take down an old one first, something like that. Um, something that didn't matter to you. Uh, let's see. But we do want to run these things out, so we have all of these. I'm going to do this with my project list here, and this is all these websites that we just set up here, mojisamples.com included, and I'm putting slashes because I want to put the project name. After all, we're doing these in projects. We still haven't attended to the uh, index pages yet on sites that do not have them. But that's okay because we're going to use some of our generated project, or I'm sorry, our generated web pages. We're going to use one in each case to turn into the main page uh, on the website. You'll see how we do that in the process. But in any case, let me see. I need to get that project name again just to make sure I have it right. You know, obviously make sure you're using the right information or you're not going to see anything. No caps, no spaces, right? Okay. And here we go. That goes here, here 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 and here because that's what we did we um we created these projects to have the exact same project name in every case do we need to no we can call them whatever we want i'm just doing that in this case because it doesn't hurt and i'm going to put these pipes again you guys probably saw in an earlier lesson or you will see in a later one if you use pipes which you find right above the enter key you gotta hold down shift to hit it okay that's on a QWERTY keyboard, uh, then you can use a pipe and backspace, get all these things in one line, make sure it's all there. It's word wrapping, but it's in one line. I can check it this way. Yeah, it's all in one line. Okay, that's just an illusory break. It's not a real line break. Uh, the point is I can copy this and in Firefox, I can stick it in, tools, options, and select all, control A, then delete, and then paste, and now, What's the point? I can close it and reopen it to see the new pages that I put in there. Okay, for the home page. And guess what it's saying? Not found, not found, not found, not found, and not found, right? Nothing's found, is it? That's exactly right. We haven't run these projects out yet. May as well save it. Okay, so I'm going to do it now. They're all set, right? Let me open one, double check. I keep closing it. I guess I should just minimize it. I'm going to be in here anyway. That's a thousand pages upload to the server. Okay. Then load another one. Yeah. Thousand upload. Load another one. Thousand upload. Load another one. Thousand upload. Okay. Now I can run these in parallel, but there's going to be a problem. While it generates the pages in the first place, there's going to be a handful of seconds that's different on every computer. Depends on the strength of your computer where each of these profiles must use that CSV file and that CSV file to do its job. Now, if you know anything about Excel and CSV files especially, you know that you cannot access the same file more than once, same CSV file more than one time at a time. So I have to wait for it to at least get finished uh, creating the pages before the next one can run. Now, that's okay. It's just whenever it goes to upload by FTP, 
I can go ahead and uh, start the next one. It, because it's released, both of those CSV files, um, by the time it starts to generate on FTP, once it's done creating the pages, it releases the CSV files again. <clears throat> so I just have to keep that in mind. So I can do this one at a time or all at once. If I wanted to do it all at once, what do I do? I just load each of these up in different instances of Moji Pro in parallel, which I can do. Let me make sure I get this right. Building websites today. Oh, Moji-Pro.com. I can do all of them like this if I want. Uh, building websites now. And then the last one, which would be Moji Pro without a dash. Okay. Load Moji Pro without a dash. All right, and then I can just arrange them so I got them in some kind of an order I can follow so I know what I'm doing, you know, that kind of thing, right? Whoops, not that one. May as well close that one by now. Yeah, I got four of these. So I'm just going to kind of like spread them out. And so here's, I guess, how I'll do that. One, two, three, and four, just like that. Okay, and I'll except I'll get them up where I can see my buttons. How's that? Now let me just start. I can even start. It doesn't matter what end I start on. I can just gotta do them one at a time. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna do it. So the first one, we're doing a thousand pages, and here it is loading up to run. Sometimes it's sort of a slow start. Now as soon as it's done generating a thousand, it's gonna start to upload to the FTP server. Now when it does that. I can start the next one to follow behind. What you're going to notice is it's very slow when it uploads to the FTP server. That's because it only uses one thread per instance. Okay, What is the reason for that? That's because you can also use these profiles, or well, you can use these instances. Um, how do I want to put it? You can, you can have all four of them go to the same website, but different folders on the same website. Okay, if you wanted to create 20 projects or something like that uh, on one website, 20 different projects right next to each other, you can do that with these profiles. Just save them with different names, whatever you want, uh, and just simply change the project name in each case. And that way, you can actually create all these projects on these different, uh, in these different folders, even on the same website. Now look, it's uploading, so I can get this one started now. Okay? And so it's going to go. It's reading the information, getting all loaded up, then it'll take off. All right. And yeah, I can actually click back and forth and see where it's at in each case if I want. All I know is as soon as this is done with a 1,000, I'm going to click the next one here and get that one going. Right? That kind of thing. And just let it run. It'll speed up and slow down for all these different reasons while it's generating pages. Doesn't matter at all. It's getting them done. If you actually want to see them, you can. Here, let me kind of like pull that in where I can hit the run shortcut. There we go. There's our two date timestamp folders for the two projects we're doing right now. The first one's done. All those pages are done being generated. They're being uploaded right now to FTP. This one is getting done and then it will upload to FTP. And that's when I can start the third one. See, that's the point. So that's getting close, and I'll be able to start the third one. Now, the only problem with this method, of course, is even though this is huge and cool, and it is, it's huge and cool. I mean, look at that. That's a thousand web pages. How fast can you generate a thousand web pages any other way that are good for backlinking? Okay, this is awesome. Now, while that's going on, I can start the next one so I don't waste time. The only problem is what? It's I'm physically sitting here at the computer, right? Just outright sitting here at the computer, okay? Um, and I would rather not be. I'd rather that the computer knew to do all these back to back without tripping over each other with me gone. So I would like my computer to do all of this for me. Not only that, I wanted to add another 250 or 500 or a thousand pages maybe every week for each of these projects. I, I wanted to put more pages into the same project folders, for example, okay, just to keep adding content to the project in each case. So Google sees that I didn't just give up on the website. I, I'm keeping it up. 
and it's very healthy to do that. That's why you see on big websites when you check back, there's always more pages being added to it and other pages may be getting tossed out if they're old and the more pages being added to it, whatever. That's because people want to show Google they're active with the website. That is hugely impactful. That has a lot to do with how well you rank is doing that. Well, in our case, we can do it automatically. We can have our computer do this completely without us. Let me start that last one. And it'll do all this without us. Now, the point I wanted to make real fast about why one thread, this is the first one now, it's 384 done. Why one thread is that if you are uploading a bunch of projects to the same server, the server will probably only allow a maximum of seven threads at once. That's probably going to be all. For uploading purposes, you can probably only do seven of these at a time. All right? And that's per website, right? If you connect by FTP to some other website, then you can do more. But this is why they each have one thread, so that you can literally do 20 or 40 or 80 projects at a time, whether they're spread around on some of them are on the same website and some are on different websites. You know, so you might have seven projects going up on one website, seven projects going up on another website, seven projects going up on another website seven projects going up on another website and you can have it all happening pretty much at once now with that said I gotta come back to this how do I get my computer to do what I'm doing right now without me and the answer is batch files batch files are automated push button files that we train well train we just type in the right thing we say use this profile use that the batch files is a single push button that allows us to run a profile. So whatever is happening in this profile, whatever our set points are, it'll do that when we hit a single button. And same thing with all the other ones. It'll just run them all out with whatever information is on them, whatever project name we left on there, however many pages we said to upload, whether we said uh, actually upload it or just produce the pages, all of that will be done by pressing a single button and not only that it can run these back to back so it can run one and when it's done run another when it's done run another all by itself with us gone not only that we can have it do these jobs in parallel so for instance right now I have 33 websites set up and I hit 33 buttons I go bap 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 and they th and then I walk away and in like two hours that's 33,000 web pages uploaded okay while I'm eating lunch spending time with my family you know having a snowball fight with the kids whatever my computer is working for me then the final step to that is that I don't even really need to hit those 33 buttons. I don't have to wake up and look at the clock and think, oh yeah, it's Wednesday, I need to run out those links, those projects on 33 websites, a thousand pages each. I don't have to. I can have my computer use the task scheduler to run the buttons for me on a schedule. And for any, any of you who don't even know what that is, if you go into task scheduler okay if you don't see it here you can find it under all programs it's in the accessories it's system tools task scheduler right there and when you open that I can actually add a task it's in here like create basic task and the basic task will say something like you know give it a name and a description hit next you just follow through the actions and you tell it every Wednesday at 4 p.m. or every other Friday at 2 p.m. or whatever you want to do every month or every other month you just check the boxes for the scheduler you say run this program and you tell it what to run well we tell it to run our batch files and so on that schedule the computer can do it for us not only that well the computer can wake up to perform those tasks and then put the computer back to sleep so we can have this run any old time and the computer will do these tasks for us whether we're around or not which is just huge 
Now, if Fag Guys asks, uh, you know, can you uh, work around this? And you kind of can. Best way to do it is to hit your desktop icon with the real far corner where it says show desktop. Hit that. All that did was minimize everything for me. It's still down there. It's still running. It's just minimized. And yeah, I can completely work around it. I can do stuff like whatever, empty my recycle bin. I can check my mail. I can open Dreamweaver. I can open Photoshop. I can do whatever I want to do. Listen to music, run Skype, anything like that. It's sharing bandwidth, but it's not eating a lot of it up because it's just going one thread per. In my case, I've got what? One, two, wait, one, two, three, four things happening at once. Yeah. And I thought I had five. I thought I had the Moji samples, but maybe I forgot to turn that one on or it's done by now. And if it's done by now, it's done by now. Run. Nope, there's only four in here. I must have missed Moji samples. No big deal. I mean, I could do it. I could start it right now. But I think you see the point, right? You see how this works and what's going on. And you can see in each case where we're at. I think we're done with all these now because those boxes are gone. Right? Let me see. Yeah. It says successfully uploaded. Successfully or so, okay that's just where it's at so far All right yeah none of them are done yet and why would it say this one is done why would it be a thousand files were created but then there's a thousand sixty uploaded to the server that's because for every menu link we had there have to be four files created for it there has to be an index.html index2.html which is a backup uh, sitemap.txt and sitemap.html and that's generated in every subfolder. All those elements we had in our menu, whatever our menu said. Real quick, I forgot to address this. Many of you here, you're staring at the these things here. And you're staring at what it says in the menu for the values. And you're saying, I don't get it. Didn't we change all these things to other stuff? You know, we didn't use these. We used other things. That's true. That's because this is just cached from the very first time you ever created the profile or copied it, it uses the same information. And so it will just be that way. Yeah, that's the one. That's somebody else. I think it was that one. Mm. 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 Yeah, there we go. That's gotta be it. Should have looked at that better. That's uh, usually just wait till they all get done, you know, you, because you're gone, right? That's the idea is you let your computer do this stuff and walk away and just take a break and enjoy the time. Okay, so we're just waiting and it'll be done. And I can even break this recording off, except let's take a look now, right? Let me let me show the desktop so we can do what? Let's take a look at how these things look. They, you know, enough pages are up that there have to be pages in every case. That's not the right place. Full profile stack project list. Now I want to see these. That's right. I already put it in Firefox. If I want to see how this looks, take a look at that. We got our front page for the building websites project. That does not mean that we have a front page on the website yet. We have to create that separately. We need at least some front page on this website. We haven't done that yet. We just created our project. This is the root of our project, right? And this is the index.html page of that project. It is this page, okay? When we go here, that's the same thing here, but it's a different page. What does this one say? Citrus Heights, California, how to SEO. How you were able to have your choice of the most reliable how to SEO, that being the keyword, in Citrus Heights, California. This is different. Jefferson, Idaho, make a page. How to select the most suitable make a page in Jefferson, Idaho. It may read weird, but this is keyword optimization that the Google robots understand completely. They're very cool with it. There's not a problem with that. We don't expect people to read these pages. We only expect Google to index them so that all of these backlinks at the bottom, how to do a website for mojicrew.com, actually count. That is the point of these pages. The related links, guess what? That's the sitemap. Remember how we said there has to be a sitemap created for every subfolder, including the root, every menu link right and there is these are the sitemap links in the root if I click on one if it's uploaded which it is all of these links work everything here works all of this stuff is right and it's got those words that we chose for our menu links remember how to do a web page all this is awesome for Google for for the quality score of getting these 
how to start a website all of this relates uh, everything works there is default pages for everything here no matter what you click on there is a page there is a page there's something here everywhere and all that means is that for Google there's nothing broken it's all here it all works okay related links in this case look at where we're at now building websites like we thought but then we're in a subfolder called make a page this is one of our menu links right well look at this related links this is a site map but that site map is no longer the same one anymore this is not the building website site map anymore it's the make a page subfolder site map guess what links are on this every link that wound up in that make a page folder that's awesome these are all our related pages for the make a page folder get it that's really 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 cool and if I take this back out then you get the final point that sitemap is all the pages that was in the root of that thing building websites and then the pages themselves you get it highly optimized keyword URLs and the wording on it, it says flowery branch Georgia you know building websites how to have a website and what do we see flowery branch Georgia how to have a website the URLs match the content on the pages which goes with your backlink and everything points at your website that you're really trying to rank the one you want the uh, page rank score to go up on is this page here and the only way to get the page rank up on this page is to have a lot of these on other websites which is the point okay that's how you do it that's why we do all these other websites here okay and then that one oh yeah we didn't run that one did we that's why it's still not found because the this is the moji samples one that we did not run yet i thought i was running it but i wasn't so it's still broken because i never ran it so what i can run it in a minute if i want but i'm just going to show you guys how to use the batch files next to simplify the whole thing that we just did with the processing on all of these things we should we're probably done by now nah i don't know let me see oh okay that's done actually these might have been done for a while that's done that's done so yeah I had to create 60 extra pages so if you divide it by four what do you get uh, 4 10 15 15 so there were 15 folders that I had to deal with 15 groups of index.html index2.html sitemap.html sitemap.txt the sitemap.txt files the main ones are what we upload to Google Webmasters, which I'll show you in a later video. Sitemap.html is for people who physically browse your website to find them and for the robots to find them on your website so that the robots can see that they're visible links on your website that people are supposed to click on. Okay, In other words, they could click on the sitemap and those links work inside of there. So you have to have both a sitemap.html and a sitemap.txt. And the sitemap.txt is what we send to Google not the sitemap.html it doesn't want to see that it wants to see just regular txt file with one url on each line which we have in every subfolder of every job do we need to submit them all nope just the main ones there's only one two three four that we need to submit google bots will find the rest from there now we can submit them we just don't need to let me see they're all done by now right oh yeah they're all done by now they've probably been done for a while so that's neat completely unique pages they're not duped from website to website to website they're all unique and that's what we had to have happen that's what we needed that's what we cared about okay so now you see how that worked that was actually pretty easy can you believe it I just put up 4,000 web pages I created them and uploaded them complete with creating the sitemaps and the main pages for those projects in every case what do we need to do next we need to understand how the batch button does the same kind of job and also how to make universal changes fast on all our projects so that you can see just how much faster we can do all this so the next video will be shorter <laughs> and how to use a certain sleep tool that allows us to run multiple jobs at the same time and not have to worry about that CSV file getting hung up we don't have to wait to process each job we can just hit all the buttons at once you'll see how that works and then we'll be talking about creating the main page on the site just by taking any one of the pages we generated stick it in the right place and rename it to index.html that's basically it 
And then from there, the only other thing we have left to do is discuss how to submit sitemaps to Google. And we're done with explaining pretty much everything there is to know about the backlinking side of this house until we talk about how to use the Moji Pro to create your own Moji runs on your own templates, your own websites with your own wording so that you're not just doing a placeholder website anymore that doesn't pitch anything. You're creating pages that do pitch. They pitch every single page is a possible sale and every single page can have your newsletter on it. Every single page can have your intro video on it. Every and and that's not a problem. And every single page can have a PayPal button on it. Every single page can lead you to also another website and that can be a backlink for another website. So all your pages can pull the double duty of being sellable pages plus backlinking another website at the same time by having a link in the footer. Ain't that wild? That stuff we're going to talk about as we get to it. But right now, let's get back to the batch file button so you can see how much faster this goes. And we'll continue from there.